Meconium aspiration syndrome is a serious condition in newborns that can cause severe respiratory distress. As a respiratory therapist or medical professional, this is a topic that you must be familiar with. We created this quick video to help. So if you're ready, let's get into it. What is meconium aspiration syndrome? As we briefly mentioned, it's a condition in newborns that causes respiratory distress when meconium is aspirated into the lungs. Meconium is a term that refers to fecal matter that is passed by the fetus while in the womb. It often occurs due to a lack of oxygen. Real quick, let's talk about the pathophysiology of meconium aspiration syndrome. Hypoxia of the fetus during utero leads to gut paralysis that relaxes the anal sphincter and this is when meconium is passed. Then, as the hypoxic fetus is gasping, thick meconium is inhaled into the bronchial tree of the lungs. This is not good because meconium in the airways allows air to enter the lungs, but it actually inhibits the exhalation of carbon dioxide, which results in hypercapnia. This could potentially lead to a pneumothorax as well. Meconium also acts as an irritant that can cause pneumonitis and infections, which results in an increased body temperature. You should also know that meconium breaks down surfactant and causes impaired gas exchange where blood is shunted away from fetal circulation due to increased pulmonary resistance. And now you may be wondering, when does meconium aspiration syndrome occur? This condition is most common in full-term and post-date infants related to fetal distress. Again, it often occurs due to a lack of oxygen. We wanted to create this video just to provide you with a quick overview of this topic. However, we'll be breaking it down even further in a separate video. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.